Hello my students, how are you today? I hope you are feeling well and staying safe and healthy. I'm Hasan Zainuri. Welcome to Public Speaking Course. In this chapter, you are going to learn about introduction, conclusion, and transition. In this section of this chapter, I will talk about structuring the conclusion. First, let me tell you the learning objective of this lesson. After learning this lesson, students are able to identify the primary elements of a speech conclusion. Now, let's move on to the overview of this video. The outline of this topic in this video is the primary elements of speech conclusion. Now, let's turn our attention to the structuring of the conclusion. The easiest method to indicate that your speech is nearing its end is to begin your conclusion with the words in conclusion. In conclusion or to summarize work just as well. While this may appear to be direct methods of informing the audience of your speech conclusion, you want it to be very clear to everyone that you are closing things up. You can certainly use more elegant, engaging, or innovative language here, but you run the danger of audience not realizing your speech is coming to an end. Restating your main points will be one of the ways for you to be mentioned on your conclusion in your speech. Let's say you mention the main point in the beginning of the speech, then in the conclusion, you will restate your main points by using another statement, by paraphrasing the statements. Then, the last thing is concluding device. It is a memorable way to end your statement. These are the last words you will say in your speech, so make the most of them. This will be the final thing your audience hears, so make it count. A good conclusion avoids your audience from thinking that way and might even help them remember your speech better. In conclusion, let me sum up the main points in this lesson. Several considerations for structuring the conclusion have been explained in detail. I think that's all for this lesson. See you on the next video.